Woohoo! K36, baby. I finally made it. And without civilization gear. Wow. I was so excited when I cleared the 5.8 requirement that I was jumping all over the place, doing my happy dance. Oh my goodness, it was crazy. For any of you skeptics out there, check this out. You see that? Zero sieve gear. And you see this here? 5.8 requirement cleared. So, how'd I do it? Before we go any further, let me show you my two generals. We have Dewey and we have Elise. Now, naturally, I've been working on my generals. I've ascended both of them to six stars and a little extra. I've done specialties on both of them, as much as I could anyways. Now, Dewey is over 5.8 million, but Elise is about 5.73. And I was thinking about what I could possibly do to push Elise's power higher and close the remaining gap to 5.8. The trick for what I ended up doing came when I realized that the dragons I had on my generals, that's Thebes and Norway Ridge, had different powers. So it kind of hit me like a eureka moment. Why don't I switch the dragons around? So I took the dragons off and switched them around. Dewey was still over 5.8, which was cool, Elise was now at 5.77. The gap closed a bit. So I continued thinking, what else could I do? I could do more of Elise's specialties, but I don't have enough runestones or gems to do that right now. And since I don't coin much, getting enough runestones might take a while. I could ascend Elise even more, but I don't have any more fragments or blood of Ares to do that right now, so that might take a while as well. With the update that came out a few weeks ago, I could now possibly raise my dragon's level to level 11. That could definitely work, but will also take some time to get done. While I was busy thinking through all of these things, it hit me again. Why don't I change some of the gear on Elise? You know, kind of like how we do to clear the King of Generals requirement. So. I started looking at the gear on Elise and I noticed that my lower power pieces were the weapon, the helmet and the chest armor that she had. Then I took a look at my generals other than Dewey to see if any of them had higher power pieces for those gears. I noticed that the weapon and the helmet on my Li Jing had higher power than what I had on Elise. And the chest armor on my Himiko had higher power. So I took them off, put them on the lease, and voila, two generals over 5.8 million power. That's how I cleared it. One interesting thing about clearing this requirement is that it is similar to the king of generals in the sense that when you achieve this state even just once, that's it, you've cleared it. This was great for me because it meant I could return my generals back to where they were supposed to be in terms of gear and dragons and the requirement will remain cleared, which was awesome. Now, some of you hawk-eyed folks might have noticed something. So I'm going to come clean. I wasn't entirely honest with the title of this video. I actually haven't made K36 yet. I'm going to do it in this video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So let me load up. Okay. I've loaded up the resources I need for the upgrades. First, let's take a look at the upgrade time. We go to the keep and we have a look at that 1,697 days. Okay. So before we do the upgrade, let's just make sure that I complete my setup. Take a look and confirm. I have my duty general on my keep. Next, I go to my monarch and change my crown to the construction crown. Next, I go to the civilization treasures and make sure that I have the one with construction speed on. There it is. Activate. Nice. Finally, I go to change my culture to Europe 
for additional construction speed. Okay, let's take a look at what the construction time is saying. 1,453, not too bad. So first thing we do, we go to the victory column and upgrade that. Here we are, unlock. Okay, we unlock that. Speed it up, nice. Done. Victory column upgraded to level one. Sweet. And I get some resources as well, which is nice. Next, we go to the keep. Check. All the requirements are done. We load it up. Go ahead to speed it up. And there it is, folks. K36. Now, I'm just going to drop a quick message for my alliance mates because this is really awesome. And of course, you trust Akka. I waited for the consumption event to do these upgrades and I've cleared quite a bit of it already. Now, with all this done, would I have preferred that I had civilization gear? Yes, of course. It would have made things a whole lot easier for me. And I still hope to be able to get some Civ gear in the future. But with the game updates to Ascension and Dragons, it is definitely possible with hard work to make it past that hurdle. So now, here is the blueprint for anyone looking to make it to K36 without breaking your bank account. The first thing that you need, two dragons at level 10 and above. The next thing you need, generals that are leveled up to level 36 and above. Next, you need generals ascended to at least six stars. Finally, you also need your specialties done on those generals, as high as possible. Once you can make your way through this blueprint, you should be in a good position to make the final push or switch like I did to clear K36. Note that any of the points in this blueprint that you can push even further will make it easier for you to clear the 5.8 general requirements. So keep that in mind. But hang on though, there is still one very important thing we need to do. Immediately after opening K36, we need to check out our military academy. That is the real gem and the main reason we need to push for K36. So let's check it out now. We come over here and that's the space to build the military academy. And those are the requirements. So let's set up and get this done. Okay, resources are all loaded up. And as you can see here, building the military academy will cost you roughly about 3 billion resources and over a thousand days worth of speed ups. So let's get this done now. And there it is, the military academy is up and running. If you like the content in this video, do remember to give it a like. For now, I'm gonna head off and spend some much needed, good quality time alone with my military academy. Aka signing out.